All right, so I just wrote this down. I want to make sure I get this right. The whole Inflation Reduction Act and Bidenomics, is that a political shell game, basically? It is. I mean, it's an attempt at gaslighting more than anything. He thinks that if he keeps saying these words, that Bidenomics is great, that the Inflation Reduction Act is working, that people will start to believe it. But as you just pointed out, Americans aren't that dumb. The polling numbers have been consistently showing that Americans aren't buying it. Americans know that their finances are not in great shape. Debt is higher than it's ever been in this country, both in terms of mortgage debt, in terms of credit card debt. That's very, very concerning. People aren't happy with the direction of the country right now. And no matter how many times Biden says the sun is shining, the birds are chirping and there's rainbows in the background, we know that's not true. You know, uh, they often, and when I say they, it's the administration, they often try to kind of create this picture, this rosy picture. Oh, yeah, inflation was high last year, but it's now down significantly. While technically that's true, the reality for many people is that inflation is still prohibitive. Inflation is still extremely high. And inflation is cumulative. So even as the rate of things, uh, the rate of inflation starts to improve, things are still getting more expensive. They're just not getting more expensive as quickly as they were last year or previously. And so inflation is improving, and, and we shouldn't, uh, we should be happy about that. That's a positive thing. But we have to look at the causes of why that's happening, and certainly not by dynamics. What's taking place here is the Fed is taking extraordinarily aggressive actions, the most aggressive actions when it comes to rate increases that we've seen in 40 years plus. That combined with improving supply chains, supply chains were one of the big, uh, big problems that we had, of course, during the pandemic. That is the reason why our inflation situation has begun to improve, not because of Bidenomics, which, if anything, has probably made things a bit worse.